What's up, people? I'm Effect So Sick here, and <clears throat> I'm bringing you my own personal breakdown of the Zombies trailer Origins, or the new Map Pack 4 official trailer. Yeah, I got a question about that before I start. I tried to re upload the trailer earlier today, and I kept on getting a notice about copyright, obviously, but you know, you got tons of people re uploading. Is that because they're partnered, or what? I'm pretty sure it's because they're partnered. Um, and that's why I couldn't do it, but anyways, I don't really care. I'm posting this. Hopefully it'll go up showing what I think about the trailer and breaking down the zombies origins part. So let's get into it. This first clip you're seeing, I noticed it as I was watching and you can see to the right, you have the light for the mystery box. So this is where I'm assuming you're going to spawn starting off. You're going to start off in that back room. You see that door in the center. Uh, in the next image, you'll see the same door right behind the main four characters. And so I'm assuming that's where the main room is going to be. And that door you'll be able to open to get out into the trenches of the undead. So that should be interesting. Pointed that out for you. And then this next clip, you're going to see that as you see Dempsey here, you see right behind him, you see a sign. It's a skull and crossbones, which... Uh, that symbol is for death. So I'm assuming during these trenches, you had this uh, area where I'm sure all the you know people that died in the line of duty were brought to after you know they cleaned up some of the battlefield near them. So maybe uh, this is where they are, the undead. Well, yeah, the dead. And you can see in the next image, you'll see the sign for a lab. lab. <coughs> so. It looks like it's underground, a facility, kind of like it reminds me of transit, where you had to go underground to, you know, cut on the power. So maybe that's what that is going to be about. And that's probably where they experimented on, you know, the dead. Because my theory is that the undead, all the zombies happen because of experimentation, particularly for this story. So maybe these four had something to do with it. Maybe not. But they created the undead, and now they're fighting back their creations. Not particularly the four, but someone did. We'll, we'll find out. Hopefully. Probably not, but it's cool to think about. Second, uh, you'll see this this ring of purple static electricity, it looks like. And my theory is it's some sort of short EMP burst to uh, potentially protect that building that it's hovering above. That way you can protect it from the giant robots that we see in the trailer so that's just a theory moving on next we have let's see you can see on this image it's one of the boss zombies it looks like to me this is just one of two the second one you can see now and that's pretty cool my theory is that it's similar to like the spaceman character on moon that uh he walked around with one of your friends name above him and he stole away your perks so maybe that that's what they're bringing back that was pretty cool and you'll have to probably kill him every so rounds or so i don't think it's going to be a, a constant thing maybe like every few rounds that's what i'm thinking and we're moving on i'll play a clip showing the uh, new weapons you got a machine gun and a new pistol and that seems pretty cool a new starting pistol that hasn't been done before that'll be refreshing New thing to the zombies. The MG08 machine gun. Wow. And a new starting pistol for the first time, which is the Mauser. Now both have been- Also, I wanted to point out how the, the, the entire map is weather dependent. So you'll see rain, fog, snow, I mean, lightning. It's gonna make a fun, exciting map to play that's always gonna be interesting to me. And in this next clip you'll see here, I just posted it because I want to show a good overview of the entire map it's pretty massive which is pretty cool but at one point it cannot be pretty cool because it reminds me a little bit of transit and I that map got boring as hell after a while especially having to take the bus now maybe if they design a new system navigating the map it'll be better but I don't know because you'll see in a clip uh, coming up you'll see that they have the tank which we all knew about and it, you'll see the tank now it's a platform where the characters can travel and navigate the map obviously uh, they can also shoot from it uh, but it's open so I don't know how that's gonna affect I mean if we're gonna be affected by the environment 
aka the, the big giants but what I want to do I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna highlight it but in the top right corner of this clip you can see some sort of uh, outline of the robot the giant robots foot and I want to point out that the robot itself as I thought was something that we had to fight but then again maybe it's something like Leroy an obstacle we have to overcome or it could help us you know kill the undead so it's pretty cool just wanted to point that out I don't think many people have noticed that or pointed it out in their videos so that's gonna be pretty cool trying to take control of this massive massive thousand foot tall robot and I'm gonna get back into it uh, speaking of just the robot I assumed it was only one robot but in this clip you're about to hear we hear that there's robots aka he says specifically thousand foot tall giants so that's an s at the end of the statement so i'm assuming there's gonna be more than one of these things roaming the map striding around the landscape like he says and that's gonna be pretty epic never been done i've never seen anything like it and i can't wait to experience that for myself oh by the way did i mention the giant robots we have 1,000 foot mechanical giants striding across the landscape. And in that clip, you can see that the mystery box right there. So maybe he can help us, you know, locate it or bring it to us. Who knows? The possibilities are endless at this point. I can't wait to dive into it. And it's just going to be awesome, man. Wow. And look at all that snow. I mean, it's going to be pretty, pretty tight. It's kind of like the Call of Dead. And uh, here's in another clip. It's showing the overview of the map a little bit more in design detail. And you can see it looks like the starting point at the top left. You have this uh, mountain you have to kind of climb up. And then you see that it's a white cylinder type thing. Maybe that's some sort of elevator that gets you to the underground facility. Some Resident Evil shit. Who knows? Well, uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you watched this far. I know it's kind of a long video, seven minutes or so, and uh, this is just my my theories and my opinions on this. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed. If so, uh, please give it a like. I'd appreciate it. And subscribe for more content like similar to this. I plan on posting a bunch of videos once the DLC is released. So thanks again, guys. Take it easy.